What's going on, people, and welcome to Ball Talk. My name is Noah, and I'm here with our resident footballers, Lewis and Ken. This week, we're talking about surely every player's worst nightmare, the subs bench. They've been named on the bench, they're thinking, now after the game, I've got to run. You look to the, the S&C coach or the physio yeah. wave and you'll be like, are we? <laughs> are we doing it? Are we? You want your team to win. But the oh. midfielders to score. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to watch someone who's like, looks exactly like you, yeah, but it's just a little bit better in every way. Yeah. To go out of her. She says to you, look, mate, it's you, not you. Yeah. I'm a big believer. You go on and give the best account of yourself as you can. <clears throat> if you come on, let's say five to go, nick the winner. Mm. At the end of the game, no one remembers that you didn't start the game. Yeah. When you're on the bench, you do need a piss a lot. The manager will have no clue whether you're warming up, whether you're yeah. gone in for a piss. You could probably sit there for 10 minutes. You wouldn't know. <laughs> you're not saying... What's we'll do it the weekend? How's the wife? What yeah, you, you are. You are. Oh, yeah, you're probably yeah. spending more time talking right, about things okay. nothing to do with the game. No, yeah. And then I'm sometimes looking at a guy and thinking, why does he look fresher than me? When <laughs> he's, just, he's, just, yeah. he's just been Mate, on the pitch. The last thing fans want is a sub blocking their view. <laughs> are they <laughs> giving it to you all game? I've had someone say, did your mum do your hair? <laughs> like... <laughs> What's going on, people, and welcome to Ball Talk. My name is Noah, and I'm here with our resident footballers, Lewis and Ken. This is our second Insight episode where me and you get to ask the footballers everything about football. Last week, we spoke about the training grounds and some bust-ups. This week, we're talking about surely every player's worst nightmare, the subs bench. Boys, I assume you hate being a sub. Yeah, I mean, you just you don't feel like part of the team, do you? You feel a bit ostracised, and the whole build-up's a bit different. You know, it's a completely different experience being on the bench, and it's let's be honest, it's not really where you want to be at most points of your career. Maybe at the start, it's it's a yep. bit of an honour to be on the bench. Maybe if you're you know you're making your first true. first point uh, first time with the first team, maybe or you're playing up an age group, it can be an honour. But a lot of the time, you don't want to be there. Yeah, you summed it up. <laughs> you summed it up pretty much like. It's not just the fact that you didn't play, it's the whole experience of like not feeling like you're really involved, not feeling like throughout the week during the prep, everything's geared towards the 11 that are playing and you're just mannequins in training and stuff like that. So, you know, like, I don't know, your friends and family come and watch and you're, yeah. you're not on the pitch. Like there's so many reasons why mm. no one wants to be a sub. So yeah, it's not the nicest experience as a player. I've not even thought about friends and family. Being yeah. a Sunday league plan, yeah, no one comes yeah. to watch yeah. you play. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it the worst thing in football as a footballer is being a sub the worst or is there something that grinds your gears more well for me like like i just mentioned it at the start of your career it's actually really good and you really it's a, it is an honor to be on the bench like, so it can be spun in a positive it, way it really can yeah like let's say i'm 17 18 my goal is to get in, yeah. in and around the first team and be involved with a match day squad so if i'm on the bench you know i get a but i get a bonus if i come on i get even more True. And and I've made a squad to play in, let's say it's a Premier League club, to play in the Premier League. Yeah. yeah. Whereas let's say you're 32, you know, and you're at the at the back end of your career or the middle of your career, you don't really want to be on the bench with mm. the young lads or with the players that aren't involved because mm. it's basically saying you're not good enough. So you think some, someone like um, Jorginho? Yeah. Is he annoyed about it then? Or is he thinking, look, this is my role now. I need to be the leader. And if that means sitting on the bench, I'll do it. Or is he as fuming as you would be? Yeah, I mean, he's that. That'll be. He'll be fuming. There's no doubt about really? that. Really, he'll be fuming. Yeah, but wow. I think, yeah, Jorginho, he's got to be. Every I, player, he's he'll Portland. be fuming, man. He'll be. No, fuming's a strong word, isn't it? He'll be. He will not be happy. No, he, I don't think he'll be happy. I think he's signed for Arsenal, knowing he's going to play a lesser role. I think he knew he was not going to be. Okay. Because I think he was being offloaded from a Chelsea team who wasn't even doing much. Coming like it's almost like a like a saving grace sort of thing. Now you've got a chance to be involved in a team that's going to push yeah. for stuff. He's not going to be happy. And no. I know he's going to look at himself and think he's good enough to be in the team. But I think he'd be more accepting of the role thinking, okay, I'm going to do this for two seasons. He did sign a new contract last year. Knowing, like the leader knowing, and... Yes. I think he don't, doesn't want to be on the, pitch, on the bench endlessly. Mm. But if you look at last season, I think first 10, 15 games, I think he hardly got a kick. And at some point he became instrumental. Um, so it just depends. It depends on the situation. I don't think he'd be. I think he'd be understanding of his current role in the squad, knowing yeah. that he'd be a bit limited, as long as when he does come in and play well, he gets to keep his show, which is what happened last season yeah. for for a long amount of time. So I don't know. Fuming is a strong he know, word. I, know what I think you mean. he knows he can come in and still play an important role. Yes, yes. And I think if you're in an Arsenal team competing for, you know, titles and stuff like that, and the squad is stacked, he's not looking around and thinking like. He's seen 
like, like competition. No, I think like the people playing are good. Yeah. So he can't like look at like That's a good point. like he's got Thomas Partey and, and Declan Rice currently the two playing the the double pivot. I don't think he can look at them and think, God, like I have to be playing ahead of them. Obviously, he's gonna think he's better than perhaps Partey in his own head. All players think that they've got better quality, but he's he will know Partey's levels. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I think it's a lot more frustrating when you look at the person playing and think. Like he's got nothing on me, absolutely yeah. nothing on me, and that's not the case right now. Yeah, no, I agree. That's really interesting. You you two talk a lot about how annoyed mm. every footballer will be on the bench or not playing. Yeah. And we learned last week, and I think, like I said, I've been guilty of it, saying he's fine on the bench, he's collecting a check. Yeah, yeah. Does, in that sense, does the game, does the nature of the game change how annoyed you are? So let's say uh, Arsenal Brighton at the weekend. Are you as annoyed on the bench as you would be if it's FA Cup semi final? Or yeah. does the state of the game change how <laughs> angry you are? Yeah, I, th I think it can do, you know. Maybe not, it, it maybe has to be a bit more extreme than, so it might have to be, let's say, a Premier League match or FA, like FA Cup final, you know, mm. a big game like that mm -hmm. compared to, you know, a Carabao Cup third round where you go into. I don't know Shrewsbury mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. If you're not in the squad, I don't think Jorginho will mind. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, or if he's on the bench, I don't think he really, really be that bothered. You know, these midweek yeah. games, they could, they could be okay with it. Um, but any game where it's like there's a lot on the line, you know, it's a big status game for these big players. They'll all be, all be angry that they're not, they're not starting. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> you two talk with experience. Does that mean you've got experience of the subs bench? How I much time do, yeah. have you spent? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think no, I don't know a player that's never had an experience of the sub bench obviously it depends some players have had a lot of experience and some players haven't yep. had much but everyone's been a sub at some point in their career um and so it's yeah. rough yeah for, for so many reasons like <laughs> the, the list of reasons is, is <laughs> endless like like i was literally just thinking now like about Jorginho and yeah. thinking the sessions they do after a game um, I see that in the background of the TV off on their way home and like even at obviously St Albans and stuff like obviously the players that don't start or don't play longer than a certain amount will do runs at the end of the game and I've heard players talk about not necessarily here but in general but that's the that's what they dread more about being on the bench yeah. they, they, they've been named on the bench and they're thinking now after the game I've got to run or yeah. after that would the game, really piss me off yeah. so <laughs> That's I've seen even, players that's refuse to do that as well, by the way. No way. Yeah, yeah. I have. But Some, that, that never ends well, though. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Um, it can as well. Like you, you sometimes have to do runs after the game. Mm. It's almost like as the final as the final whistle goes, you'll be like, you look to the the S and C coach or the physio yeah. or whatever, and you'll be like, are we? <laughs> are we doing? <laughs> are we? And then he's like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, if it's on a Saturday game, sometimes they'd have you in on the Sunday to to train with the younger lads. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No. Just, yeah, yeah, that would happen. Yeah. Quite oh, a lot. that is bad. Yeah, that and that's when they sort of just people just ruin the session. You know, I've been a under twenty one where the first team players have come down who who didn't play and they just they just like bob it off. They, really? Yeah, yeah, they don't want to be there. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that is quality. Yeah. That is crazy. When let, so let's go from the start, right? You are playing on Saturday. Yeah. You go into the training ground Monday. When do you find out you're on the bench? Yeah, you well you should you, it depends with what manager, but it's either I've only known it two days. It's either on the Friday before the game on the Saturday. So you when you're doing the team shape, they might name it in the hotel or that evening, sometimes during training, very rarely. Or it'll be two hours before kickoff. You know when they name the team to the oh, wow. to everyone else, um, and I always I don't agree with the hour and a half before kickoff one. I don't yeah. really, I don't really agree with that um, because if if they tell you a day before, everyone's got time to process who's playing, who's not, what your roles are in the team, and you know just get to grips with if you're not starting. Whereas yeah. if you do it if you do it a uh, on the day, then it can be a bit like tantrums are still are still fresh in people's mind. <clears throat> You go sit on the bench, you know, you're still fuming, you're not playing, you're very bitchy. Mm. Um, and in terms of players on the bench, they don't want the person in their position to do well. And that just gets heightened. They don't. If Listen, Ken, you're tell if you're on the bench, right? <laughs> if you're on the bench as a striker. The smile says it all. Yeah, you're on the bench as a striker, okay? And you're like, it's, it's either, you're both sort of level, play level playing field. You've both played, you know, an even amount of games and you're on the bench this time. You're telling me you want him to score that match. <laughs> do you? Um, 
You, you want you want your team to win. Yeah, you want your you team want, to you win. Want, you want your team to win. But the uh, midfielders to score. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the back line get a goal. Um, okay, I'll just tell you exactly how every footballer's thinking. Um, naturally, you want your team to win. There's obviously the few that actually in like would lose their head so much that they don't even like, perhaps want. But that's like Mad. that's not what you want from a from a squad. Everyone wants the team to win. In an ideal world, if you're a striker and you're on the bench, you would want someone else to score or the game to be poised for you to come on and score. I think that's probably the best scenario. Nil-nil or yeah. you're losing and you're now like, you know that, okay, I'm going to be chucked on and I can be a hero here. Um, so you felt that personally. You've thought like, obviously I hope we win, but I really don't want that other striker to score. I wouldn't go as saying, I really don't yeah. want him, but you know what that I means. Would, yeah, he yeah. Does it. I'm telling you. No, 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 I'm, no, I said, I wouldn't go, I, I'm praying he doesn't <laughs> yeah. score. Like, you that, wouldn't that, mind that, if he yeah, like that, No, it's, not, it's never that bad, but like, I'm like, I'd rather he didn't because yeah. if he does, that earns him another week in the squad. And I know, you, you know that has a direct implication yeah. on you playing and, and, and everyone wants to play. So there's no, there's no going around that. Like you would prefer you to do better than the person playing in your position. And that's that's the competition of, of the sport, mm. I think. And and going on to staying on that topic, like, you know, football is a game, but when you start playing it full time, at the end of the day, it's people's jobs. Yeah, yeah it's their, it's their livelihood. Yeah. Mm. And if if this striker who's up against you keeps scoring, you're just gonna keep not playing and not playing. Mm -hmm. And then eventually that's gonna have a negative yeah. effect on your career. Yeah. You've got, a, it's like we said, it's ruthless. And yeah. It's, that's never going to change. You so, lose contracts, you move down the leagues, etc. Yeah. Right? You start earning less money. All, all the things yeah. that like people might not think about the implications it has. Yeah, it literally has a. It's like you said. It's not just like a game. You're not just wanting to play because you want to go out and have fun, but you want you want to play because you want to help the team to win. You want to progress your career. You have your own ambition. So, yeah, it's no one's no one's happy on the bench mm. no one's happy on the bench just on sorry just on the your previous question when it was um you know about naming the team and when yeah. they tell you the, the other thing is if if you get told on the day like an hour and a half before the the warm-up is a disgrace <laughs> is it yeah i've actually noticed like the the, the subs can sometimes be involved in the warm-up at the start with the start 11 mm. and it can just ruin the it just ruin the whole warm-up for the start 11 ruin the atmosphere <laughs> a lot of bitching and then that's just going to translate onto the pitch, isn't yeah. it? So for yeah. me, you've got to do it. You've got to do it day before. I, I could. I've obviously played on the numerous managers and they've all got their own ways. Um, but I think every player would tell you they'd prefer to know in training either a day or two before the Saturday, right. just because like from, from myself, again, exactly what Lewis said. If I know I'm going to be on the bench, like you take that disappointment on the Friday or the, or the Thursday or whatever, and you like, you within half an hour you kind of you're not disappointed anymore and now you start thinking cool i'm going to be on the bench saturday mm -hmm. you start sort of visualizing what kind of scenario saturday can go that ends up positive for you can okay. i come off the bench and win us the game can i can i have an impact like you just start preparing i'm going to be on the bench i might get 10 15 minutes yeah what can i do in that time and and that's for me is the best way and even when you're starting because let's say you don't know you're starting i'd prefer to know on a thursday or friday saturday i'm starting let's start getting myself really mentally prepared. Not yeah. to say that if you don't, like if you're not, if you don't know you're starting, you still have to come prepared, but it's just, football's just as much mental as it is physical. Like you can do all your physical preparations, but I think being mentally ready to, you know, accept that you're gonna start or be on the bench is huge. And a lot of managers do name a team two hours before kickoff. And that's why I think sometimes it's- I think it's probably because they're unsure. I yeah, think, yeah, I, I, yeah, think, yeah, I think that's probably the main thing. <clears throat> yeah. And some managers see it another way. Some managers probably think they want everyone to stay ready. But mm. I, I I don't think from a player's perspective, it, it gets the best out of the players. I think obviously if you don't know your team until the day, then then obviously you can't name your team. But I think if you know, players would probably prefer that you, you named your team so that they can accept what's coming on. And like you said, yeah. things like the warm up, the warm up's <laughs> a disgrace in your, like, in your experience because players have lost their heads yeah that's it it's 20 minutes prior to, to going out now yeah. they come Whereas late. <laughs> if you told yeah if you told them thursday they're not going to be soaking till that's saturday saying, yeah. they're, they're going to you told them friday they're not going to be soaking till saturday by saturday everyone wakes up ready to go like everyone's in a far better mood mood but when you tell someone like 15 minutes before going out or 20 minutes before going out that yeah you're going to be on the bench if they thought they was going to play or, or they had like you said their family coming all of these things like people's heads are gone. I was just thinking, I'm a petty little mug, right? And yeah. <laughs> obviously not a professional, so I don't have the same mindset as you do. 
But you tell me on Thursday, I throw a strop, mm. get annoyed, yeah. go home, be pissed off, then you get over it. You tell me two hours before, yeah. I am making that warm up a mockery. Yeah. I'm, who cares? I'm not playing. What's yeah, the yeah. point? You yeah. look going warm up. And these are all yeah. big ego players who all think yeah. they're better than the person who's starting. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only the only benefit or upside I can see about telling them early the height, like for for the top level where there's a lot of like news about the t uh, about leaks the club. and stuff. You mean? Yeah, just leaking the team. Mm. That's the only mm. problem I can see. Happens you know, you a might lot. You might get on the phone to your mate who plays for another team and say like yeah, there's, there's too many ways it'll yeah. be leaked at the yeah. highest level just by yeah you, t you told your mate your mate goes in places yeah. a bit or whatever yeah. or like think stupid things oh, like wow. that the higher you go up anyways yeah definitely. yeah probably. and that happens a lot yeah the, the teams definitely get leaked a lot yeah not yeah. not like del not like someone thinking right i'm gonna leave the, the team to the yeah, press yeah, yeah, but yeah, he yeah. just tells his best mate who's you know doing a podcast at the weekend or yeah, whatever yeah. and then before You're you right. know it like, yeah, yeah. yeah before you know it it's it's just out there like yeah. there's too many ways for information to get leaked in and people are like circling for this information as well yes, like, when you're, yes, when you're yes, playing yes. in the prem like, yeah yes, yes, yeah so. and you've got so much so many staff as well at the ground like, it's not just the players yeah like the chefs some like, who probably like, don't support the club who don't really care like but they, that's but, so interesting. But, but everyone knows that they work for a prem club so like people be asking them like what's going on you're like, texting the yeah, chef like yeah, who's, who's playing, playing or, yeah, what did it so. look like in training today yeah was was timber start you know what i mean like that is yeah. so that's a whole other episode i yeah, think yeah. that is quality <laughs> i really enjoy that yeah. yeah um talking about managers 10 years before the 10 you a few days before do they tell you why you've not been picked will they pull you aside and go look this is the reason or will they just go you're on a bench um a lot of the time a lot of the time they won't give you a reason i don't think oh but, that's brutal but you know sometimes they can it depends on the situation think, yeah. yeah it depends on the situation and whether you've like like we spoke about last week whether you've been starting loads and then all of a sudden you've been dropped for some reason or if you're on the bench loads they're not really going to keep saying every week yeah you're on the bench yeah, mate sorry yeah, <laughs> like, yeah why? it's true yeah they give the same reasons every week i think it depends massively on the situation for example let's say martinelli gets dropped yep i would expect i don't know how arteta is as a man manager yeah, i would, would expect that prior to doing it he would speak to Martinelli <clears throat> for, 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 because we were speaking about his confidence and that sort of stuff he would pull him aside and say look you're a big part of my plans this season mm. this is this is not this is just one game I think Trossard suits what we're trying to do this Saturday and I think he's he's been performing I'm going to play him over mm -hmm. um, you today so in that situation he's having the conversation that's a good manager isn't it? he's yeah. probably not telling Reese Nelson why Reese Nelson is going to be on the bench Saturday <laughs> yeah okay or, so just, just to give you a picture um, I imagine it happens a lot more these days with younger managers probably. I can't imagine Sir Alex yes, putting his arm around Scalzi going come here mate you're not playing today because you say that but a lot of players have said about his good, man management yeah. was, really? was top like he was top so okay. I, I think but then I think in their era, managers yeah. probably weren't doing it, but I think he was probably ahead of his time, okay. which is why he was so, so successful. I think Sir Alex would have been doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. But I don't think like a lot of that like 20, 30 years ago, it probably wasn't that common. It'd probably yeah. just be like, that's the team one hour before kickoff. If you're not happy. Yeah, I can imagine it does happen. I just can't imagine Daishi going, yeah. come on boys, you're not playing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the top managers will treat every player different as well. Like they yeah. know the players. That's true, and that's true. Like, does he need Does mm -hmm. he need a telling and like an arm around the shoulder or can I just leave him to it and mm -hmm. that'll that'll be enough? Is that, is that gonna get better out of him? Yeah. Is he gonna come on? Yeah, so it just depends on the player, depends on the situation. Um, For sure. But I'd say definitely most most players aren't getting told why they're on the bench yeah. week to week. Have you, you said a minute ago, you've had experience of a bench. Yeah. Have you had that chat? And what is it? What did it consist of for you? What the chat with the, the, the manager, manager saying, why? You why? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've had that previously. Um, I think it depends because it's not, it's not a one-off chat. Like you, you'd be on the bench every now and then and every now and then the, the reason would be different. Nine times out of 10, the gaffer, probably isn't telling you exactly why you're on the bench okay he's probably having the conversation to try and get the best out of you and try and keep your confidence up so don't worry and, yeah yeah basically. okay and, yeah, and yeah. as a player unless he's completely just lying to you then then, <laughs> then you you take that and say okay cool at least he's had the decency to pull me and say, yeah yeah this is the reason um so yeah thing is though with that like it's you don't <clears> get you would not get that in any other job Let's say, no. okay, let's say you're, yeah, let's say you're mad, playing for Arsenal yeah. or you're playing for whoever and yeah. they've signed, they come in, you're Havertz and mm. you come in and we signed Osserman. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've signed Osserman for however many million to come in and replace Havertz. Mm. 
imagine like you're a salesman or something and you've like done all the <laughs> groundwork <laughs> done all the groundwork to get like all the cold calling and that to get a chat with someone to sell them a car or something and then just before you're about to sell them you, you have to watch someone else do your job who's better than you at it yeah, basically mad, and you're just it's a mad environment it's like it's, it's mad, crazy isn't it? isn't it yeah yeah like imagine you got oh, it's, it's, oh, you could do this sorry <laughs> you could do this scenario where like you basically imagine you you're going out with a girl and you get dumped and then you've just got to watch someone who's like better looking <laughs> exactly <laughs> like is it looks exactly like you yeah but it's just a little bit better in every way yeah to go out of her she says to you look mate look it's yeah, not, yeah. It's you, not you, yeah yeah i've just signed in for, for however many million like it's it, no other business is like that it is ruthless yeah. Um, yeah so yeah it's just it's mad it's a mad old game is it so is it because it because it's ruthless and people as we've said are pissed off when they're not playing can that can being pissed off as a sub be a good thing because surely you come on then smack bang into that game i'm pissed off i need to get back into this team where is the line between toxic pissed off and like competitive advantage Ooh, pissed off it's, it's difficult because i think firstly i think positions oh. on the pitch have a have a big wow. impact like obviously i can only speak as a striker i think it's probably the best position to be on the bench in the sense that you always know if we're losing three nil i'm just going to come on and try and score yeah. if, if we if we go in three one and i've scored i've done my job if we're if it's nil nil and i come on and score and win the game we win if mm. we're losing, I bring us back into the game. It's literally just, if I get on the pitch, can I score whatever the I scenario is? you can't is. lose, yeah, no, yeah. In terms of like your mindset. So as long as you've not completely lost your head with the gaffer and like you're now done with the, the situation, if you're just angry in a sense that I wasn't happy to be on the bench, you mm. can always channel that into a like, okay, whatever time I get today, I can I can get something yeah. out of it. I think centre halves that I've, like, I've known and been on the bench and that, that's, probably one of the worst positions to be on the bench because yeah. you're not really coming on you probably ain't coming on unless an injury happens um, or something's or it's, seriously wrong yeah and it's a mad tactical <laughs> yeah. decision or we need or maybe if it's like to see out a game yeah and I feel like that's the worst position to be in because it's like you probably don't want to come on in that situation nah. if, if let's say you're winning one nil and the gaffer wants to go three centre halves it's a lose. You, it's a lose. Like it's a lose really. lose because if you come on and you, you're at fault so for a goal, then then you've lost. Then, then if you, you come lost. on and it stays the same, well, you ain't done that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like the positions probably impact the, the mentality. Yeah. I think, like I said, I think if you're a forward player, it's probably the best position to be yeah. on the bench in terms of you can still keep your head. I think the the further back you go in the team, it probably becomes worse. For me though, it's when you if you're coming off the bench, you've got to be professional about it, and I'm yeah. always you've, you've yeah. got to go on. And I'm a big believer you go on and give the best account of yourself as you can. You don't go on pissed off and try and prove to the manager, oh God, like show it, show him you're angry. You don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's just absolutely. It's just unprofessional. Absolutely, yeah. There's no excuse for like coming on and, and trying Crunch. to show people yeah. that I'm angry that I was yeah. on the bench. There's no excuse for that. It's such a, uh, I've never thought about positionally that that would affect it. Mm. But I guess if you're trying to prove a fiery point, you've got the goal ahead of you, right? And yes, your yes. aim is it's to score the goal. to do that. You're trying to prove a fiery point. Mm. You can't you've got be fiery. Rasmus yeah. Hoyland running at you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to put in a big tackle. That can go so wrong, can't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I see, it, it, it's not a good thing coming off the bench as a centre-half. Like, it's, it's, like Ken said, it's a bit of a lose-lose. Um, and also, you do build relationships during the game with mm. your back four, mm. which is hard to just come in and slot. You're like, you know the, yeah. I would know the, the runs Hoyland's been making all game yeah, or, with, yeah. or the link-up if I've been starting. Whereas to try and learn that and do that 10 minutes to go, it's, it is a tough ask. Um, Mad. So yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a strange one coming on centre half. <laughs> so we, we've spoken a lot about how angry we are on the bench, right? If your team wins and you've not played a minute, are you happy? Because surely I know we've touched on it slightly, but there must be a bit of you that's like, all right, I didn't play, but we got three points. That's beneficial to the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think if you're a good professional, right? Like if you're a good, honest professional. Yes, you're not happy you didn't play. Like there's no there's no hiding that. But overall three points is good for everyone especially like no matter what your team ambitions are like I think oh sorry no matter what your personal ambitions are they usually align with the team yeah. and, like let's say it's a, a cup game and it's like early early in the Champions League and you haven't played you don't want your team to just get knocked out because you haven't played you mm -hmm. could be starting in the final nah. in three four months time and in the like in the Arsenal episode we just filmed we spoke a lot about Trossard yeah, yeah. I mean he's he, unbelievable off the bench yeah but yeah. That is only going to benefit him in the future because he now could be like last season. He was the man that got us through yeah. to the Champions League, and people that, remember that. Yeah, that, that's the only problem though. We said like my 
my point of it point of view is always come on and give everything you can to try and prove why you should be starting mm. but some players don't want to get typecast as as the super sub my next and, question yeah they don't want to get typecast as the super sub and be <coughs> known as you know oh, he's really good to bring on 20 to go no one wants to be a super like no one wants to be known as that so yeah, then you yeah. just get delegated to super sub and i know players that have come on and purposely not done amazing mm. if they think they can prove it in other ways oh wow okay um, probably but not you, the smartest thing to do no right? it's not it's, it's not, not the smartest thing but sure surely there is no such thing as a long-term super sub because if you come on three games 20 mm. minutes left you score in each of them 20 minutes surely yeah, you'll get the exactly, manager is yeah. going you start you, you yeah. will eventually you can no matter yeah you, you do that long enough you'll eventually yeah. get your chance yeah. like there's no way you can it might take one game in some cases to come off the bench and mm -hmm. score it might take four games but eventually if you just keep banging at the door yeah. you're going to get your chance and then it's down to you now when you start to show that you don't lower the levels when you start you might not score because again like coming off the bench and starting two completely different things but you have to there's a lot more in that goes on in the game that goals and assists um hmm. you you have to be doing what the manager's asking for as a whole as a collective and this is why managers might play someone you have no clue why he's playing but the manager knows he's doing yeah. this certain job that he's asked him to do from the start that i need him to do for 70 minutes mm. so if you've been on the bench for three four games and you've done well and you've come on and now you've been given a chance to start you have to keep those levels to now prove that you can do the same yeah. as a starter otherwise you'll end up straight back on the bench again yeah where you don't want to be so yeah. i'm going to offer you ken 20 goals a season right but you only come off the bench for 20 minutes are you taking that 20 goals 20 goals what's the alternative there is none sitting on the bench and rotting do you, well, are no, you let's no let's go 20 goals off the bench yeah or let's, okay let's say like 10 12 like between 10 and 15 but you, you're starting most of the game yeah but for the long term i take the 20 goals yeah mm -hmm. because think about there's there's a plus side to that you know because mm -hmm. let's think about it you're let's say you're in the middle of your career and you've you know you're not starting you're not happy but if you come on let's say five to go nick the winner mm. At the end of the game, no one remembers that you didn't start the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no very true. Everyone that. remembers you scored the winner, and at the end of the day, you've you've played five minutes and not had to do too much it's a big work. Thing. It's you've a not big exerted thing. yourself, and much. you're fresh, aren't you? You're fresh. You just remember like Goats' goal in the in the World Cup final. Yeah. Oh no word. one thinks, oh, he didn't start that game. Yeah. yeah. Everyone thinks he scored the winner in that <laughs> yeah, game. Very so true. like, nah. In that situation, you take the goals because everyone. Let's say come the end of the season, you scored twenty goals. No one's remembering that you hardly started. Yeah. Yeah. They're thinking he just was top scorer. And almost, and almost. If, if you look at stats yeah mi he's goal per minute is yeah. like crazy in that yeah. situation so yeah you you definitely take that right so i'll ring to the orbits and tell them to, to get a bit. <laughs> um on a match day right <clears throat> match days are surely different yeah they are arsenal versus wolves yeah is very different to arsenal versus tottenham mm. does the whole experience of a match day affect how you feel on the bench yeah well yeah, let, I'll run you through the, the scenario. Let's say I'm on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, and I found out the Friday you'd be, you know, you'd be mirroring sort of the other team. You'd basically be like a mannequin for the other team mm -hmm. that is starting to play around and hopefully make them look good. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the day, you know, you'll you'll do the warm up separate to the the starting eleven. Oh. You obviously you obviously spend a lot of time on the bench, um, but because I don't know if you've noticed, Kent. But, because you've like hydrated, really, like you've hydrated properly, you take a lot of caffeine or something like that, or however you do to prepare, as if you're starting. Mm. You're when you're on the bench, you do need a piss a lot. <laughs> just, question ten: Can you just leave to go to the toilet? Yeah, um, yeah you can. Yeah, I, not because you don't see it much. Well, they probably don't show us. Do I don't they? know. I've never. I've not been allowed during the game. Okay, I'll, I'll say this is where maybe the levels change. I think if you're in a prem on yeah. TV, it's probably very difficult because yeah. like yeah. everyone Pop be like, down the tunnel. Going? Yeah, I think in the EFL or in, in, in the National League and stuff, it's common like for players yeah. to just to just nip to the, to the toilet. Put your hand up and ask the manager no, like no, you do at cause, school. Because <laughs> you, you get up to go and warm up like warm up on the side anyways. Like the manager doesn't care about you when you're on the bench. Yeah, he's, okay. He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, our manager will have no clue whether you're warming up, whether you're yeah. gone in for a piss. You could probably sit there for 10 minutes. He wouldn't know <laughs> yeah. unless he needed you to go on and yeah. he wasn't there. That's probably the only time he'd then realise. So yeah, I think that if you, obviously prem level and that the main thing would just be like you, just cameras everywhere and it's like where's yeah. he gone like, yeah, it'd yeah, just yeah, be yeah. that yeah that's probably the only reason you wouldn't do it otherwise there's no reason why you couldn't go toilet 
like you're not needed if yeah you, if you watch a prem game so you, like i said you do really need a toilet and what would they do no no so you watch as soon as the half time whistle goes they you see in. them you yeah. see oh really you, you'll, oh, see most to watch that now. you'll see it most games yeah. they um they all just sprint off to the to, to the top. yeah it is a problem to be fair because like once you're playing and you're sweating you you don't actually need the toilet but yeah. but like if you're on the bench Bro, you can find yourself going, needing it every 20 minutes. Yeah. Bro, I've got the weakest bladder ever. I'd be going yeah. every 10. <laughs> yeah. And also, you actually get, you get so hungry as well. That's Honestly, the other thing. That's you the other thing. I've had oh, night games mate, where I'm mad. starving. It's like, I've had the same pre-match and yeah. the same prep I would as if I'm starting. And yeah. if I was starting, I'd be fine. Yeah. Because I'm sitting here watching this, I feel like I need to eat. Yeah. No way. You, like, let's say you got a three o'clock kickoff, right? Yeah. You'll eat about three hours before pre okay. your pre-match meal. You know, you'd have you know, a big, a biggish meal. <clears> so let's say 12 o'clock. You might have like something light, like a bit of fruit or a ban like a banana or something a bit closer to kickoff. Um, but that's three hours, okay? Then you've got the game, so that's another two hours, pretty much five. You're not getting if you're not playing. About you, you're not gonna be eating till about yeah. yeah. You're not playing. You're not gonna be eating till about six, half six. Whereas if you're playing, you've got like it's all the adrenaline and you even after games you can't really eat. So yeah, I can never. Yeah, eat you often, are. Yeah. I mean, you are starving on the bench. Oh. Yeah, you're basically watching TV as well. Technically, you're watching the game. You're like it's a bit of. Do you know what I want mean? a bit of popcorn or something. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah, you're starving. That, that is so interesting. What do you talk about on the bench? Do you talk about, I need a piss or I'm really hungry? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about to your teammate? Are you talking at all? <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot of the time, it depends the type of player, but a lot yeah. of what's happening with the game. Yeah. But a lot of times it's, you know, basically bitching about the, bitching about the players. A lot, it can really be like that. If it's, especially if stuff's not going well on the pitch, it's like, How's he playing ahead of me? Like, what? He, he can't even do this. He can't even do that. No way. You've but been in some toxic. Mate, it's, uh, yeah, trust me. It is. I've not really seen that to that level. I've really? seen I've, I've seen the negativity, but it's never usually no. aimed at the players. It's I, usually at the gaffer. the manager sat yeah. there. Yeah, no, he's the gaff, gaffer's on the edge of the yeah. right. okay. on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, and you're just whispering in the dugout. I, if, I, I'm all, if I think that them sort of thing, like, if I'm not starting, let's say, and, so, and someone's playing ahead of me, I would I, if I fought them, I'd never say it on the bench anyway, because I just don't like. What's the point? You're not that guy. You're a nice guy. If you I, are, I'm, humble, I would, humble if I'm guy. Not starting, that's why I'm, I'm saying I haven't. Seen, like if but, like the strikers missed a sitter, I'm not looking yeah. at like I'm, someone I'm else and thinking, saying. So, like, yeah, I'm why, thinking it all. Like how's he playing ahead of me? Yeah, but, of course. Yeah. But there there are players that do get like just yeah. just you know just negative like yeah. moany players yeah. all the time. No, you get those. You get yeah. those. Do they sure. tend to be good players? Because I can think of I won't name players. I'm thinking are quite good and I know have an ego. But just, if you're if you're not that if you're a fringe player and you're going I should be starting yeah, surely okay, that so it's, it's, it's never the fringe players it's no. always the the players the players that are doing week this are, are players that genuinely could have been with a shout of starting and, do you and think, think they should what do you think like I, I think it's the players for me you get you get to that stage after being on the bench for a while and the players who who start moaning at the players on the pitch. It's because they've been off the pitch like three, four games in a row. Really? And they, but I'm just thinking, like, if you were as good as you were letting on, you'd be bloody out there, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> You've turned to the manager. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, like, no, it's the like, truth, though. I'll yeah. name a player. I doubt he's going to watch. Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. If he's Bruno starting Fernandes on the bench, watching. he is yeah, saying not, to everyone. He's not watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's in the toilet in 45 yeah. minutes. Surely he is making that bench a horrid place nah, to be. Nah, he's captain. No, yeah, he can't. Okay, he, he okay. can't. He'd be like, it'd be mad if he did that. Yeah, he can't. He's got. A, I think he's got to be almost like a second manager on the side trying to jeer the players on. His head would be gone, but like, yeah. he's not. He's not okay. letting that show. Like, certain senior players have to like have to set an example. It'd be, it'd be like carnage if he did the opposite. See, this is this is why we do these episodes because I absolutely have sat at a pub with the boys. And said he's fuming on the bench. I yeah. No, he definitely he's, no, but he can't yeah, be saying yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, he yeah. cannot be saying that. He'll like, be thinking it all in his head for sure. No, it's it's probably usually it's, it's never usually a senior player because a senior player with some sort of responsibility in the change at room, that level you can't at that okay. level cannot be doing that because yeah, yeah that, that would just rip the, the change room into shreds. Does that happen? Would it, like I know it would be rare, but you see things about managers lost the change room. The then that's the when that's probably happened. Really, someone. It, Senior players are, are massive for losing the change room. Like if if they start coming away from what the manager wants, then that's because they they can take they, the exactly. That's what I was gonna say. They they can if like let's say Bruno starts sitting on the bench and bitching with the players next yeah. to him, straight away that's a, that's five players that have turned against the manager. <laughs> yeah, so mad. yeah, the stuff we don't think about. So you, you're not you're not saying what you do at the weekend. How's the wife? What yeah, you, no, you are. You, you are. Oh, you're yeah, probably yeah. spending more time talking right, about okay. things nothing to do with the game no, yeah. than, than the game. Yeah, like, in terms yeah, you talk about more general stuff like that really yeah. yeah 
because when when uh, I don't know about you two, I'm sure you do more than me. When I'm watching the game, I'm saying, why is he passed that there? Why is he come on the back? That's good that he's done that. Are you saying that on the bench? Are you saying why? A little bit. Yeah, a, a little well. bit. Like, again, right, like, exactly. Yeah, if you're in your short. Yeah. You might be in your short of the manager. You might be in your short of some of the coaches. Um, I think players. I don't know what you think, but I think players watch the game a lot less negatively than than fans. fans. Yeah, like 100%. you're not you're not questioning every move. Like someone might make an error, but you're not thinking, "Fuck, say why has he done that?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You thought, you've you've seen why he's done that, and it's just not come off, and you're kind of like you. Like no, even no, if you're even if you're at home watching on TV, you're not doing that. So you're not doing that definitely on the bench when you know that there's play people around you. So you think when you watch football, you're less critical than probably me? Yeah, probably, yeah. probably, yeah. Interesting. I reckon so. Like, I hardly, I hardly, even watching Arsenal, who I support, it'd be rare for me. It's like someone has to do something outrageous for me to say like, "What are you like?" Yeah. With mad negativity, most of the mad, time, any error, okay. misplaced pass, miss, like I'm, I'm like, it happens. Another thing on that, like you've got to remember when you're on the bench you you have a bit of you know like before a game you get there's a little bit of nervous energy uh, and as soon mm. as you get on the pitch and play you have a few touches it goes really mm. on the bench yeah. that never really goes mm. so you've got that oh. that's, that's going the whole time so if i'm spending the whole time saying he's shit bitching about everyone i'm i'm still half nervous that i've got to come on and you know am i ready to come on like yeah, yeah. am i going to do all right yeah i don't know when i'm coming on <laughs> like, so you don't wanna, you don't want to go too in on the players so then when you're there you 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 got to prove yourself, haven't you? That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. We, we should do a watch along. I think you'd hate me because I'm like, why is that world class <laughs> striker just missed that sitter? Um, when you are on the bench, and we see it a lot, and I absolutely would do it myself. Is there anything in the? I'm going to go warm up so the manager sees me. Do you know what I mean? If you're sat on a bench at 60 minutes, are you going to warm up and thinking he's going to see me warm up and think, wow, what a professional? Let's get him on the pitch. You, you, I mean, you can do, I suppose, but to be honest, the S and C guys, the strength and conditioning guys, will come, go tell you probably every fifteen minutes, go warm up. For oh really? 10. Oh okay. Yeah, but yeah. you can always, you can always say, right, I just want to go warm up. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. But are you doing that to get played? To be honest, I'm going to sound like a bit of a knob here, but I've not actually been on the bench that much. <laughs> but, this guy, uh, the, this the, guy. The, well, I've not played that much. To be <laughs> <laughs> but the um, the main time I've been on the bench is when I've come back from a long term injury, yeah, which yeah. is a whole different mindset. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, but so uh, yeah, I've not been on the bench too much in in regards to having someone like ahead of me. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, I reckon people do go warm up and try and get catch the manager's eye. That happens more obviously in training though. I'd say. Okay. Let's say we just conceded, I'd probably just go straight out and warm up. Yeah, that's that's probably the. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, really? I'm, not really, yeah. I'm not really thinking. I'm trying to get him show the manager anything, but like I said, the only time would be they've just scored sixty minutes, right? I better go and get warm, just because you know that he is going to be thinking about you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you don't want him to look around and see you just like posted on the bench, yeah. like you're yeah. not interested. And like sometimes that. Like let's say they've just conceded, and then he turns around and sees Ken warming up. That can jog his memory. Yeah, to think, yeah. Right, let me. That's get what this. I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that would probably be the only situation where I'm like, okay, I better go out and show that I am ready if if I'm wanted. Have you done that before? And it's worked, is it? If you've gone to warm up after like conceding, and the manager's gone, oh actually, yeah, Ken. yeah. But I don't know if if I was sat on the bench, would it have? Changed? Yeah, yeah. That's I don't fair. know. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's, that's a big. That's I don't know. <laughs> but I just don't think it looks good if 60 minutes, 70 minutes, we just conceded. He looks to his bench. And his striker's got a hat and hoodie on, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's like true. Chilling because yeah. he might need you <clears throat> literally three minutes when that's happened. Like, yeah. So you want to look like at least if he says go now, you can go. And that's a great point because warm ups before the game mm -hmm. go on for quite a while. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fair amount. So the players are warm. The players are ready to go because mm. they've done an extensive warm up. If you're on the bench, you've not got that warm up. No. It's to difficult. me, the players. Maybe don't not seem ready to go on, but I think in my head, surely he's not ready to go on because he's only yeah. done two minutes of jogging and high knees. Goalkeepers, <laughs> oh yeah, they're not ready. Always yeah. have their gloves on. No, they do. But don't well, warm I mean, up. But the, don't warm up. That's because yeah. they like strap their hands yeah. and couldn't. Like I think if they didn't, that if, is quite if, funny. If, though, if they went, yeah, if they went through that process, they'd probably like that. Probably add. I think if like <laughs> someone goes down and they've got two minutes to get ready. Then ten getting, minutes to strap they're, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. To strap their gloves on. That would be a nightmare. So I think they just probably do that so that like if they've got two minutes, they just run up and yeah. down quickly and get on. But <laughs> I don't know. I, I assume like higher up, the S and C coaches would be a lot more on the the players in terms to be of, ready to be ready. Uh, I, mean, low, I don't know, but the lower you go down, I mean they tell you to go out every 10-15 minutes. Yeah. But like 
they're not watching you. You can mm -hmm. be out there just literally watching the game. And I think a big thing is coming on as a sub is so difficult because unless you've like got your heart rate up to a mad, like a serious level on the side, which most players haven't because you're watching the game and it's like, yeah. you, you haven't got much space and there's no cones and there's no real setup. That yeah. first five, 10 minutes is like a killer. There's times where I've really? come on and within 10 minutes, I've felt more depleted than I've done before 80 minutes into yeah, the game. Because really? you've just come on from, you just come from sitting there watching a the game to now match tempo. You've done yeah. two sprints in behind and you're meant to chase everything because you're fresh yep. and you just come yeah. on. So that, there's no excuse to not chase everything. Fresh isn't always good though. Like, no, you know I mean? no, you're not. Like, and then I'm sometimes looking at a guy and thinking, why does he look fresher than me? When he's, he's, just, <laughs> yeah. he's just been Mate, on the you, pitch. That's yeah. Yeah. I'm, I feel, I'm done. I've just come on and he's he's still running. Like it's a mad, but you know, I think players know it's coming yeah. on is difficult. Like you have to, like, if you want to give yourself the best chance, do a proper warm yeah. up. But it makes, it makes complete sense because when you go on a run, the first K is the hardest. It's hard, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you get into it. Yeah, when yeah. I play seven aside, yeah, yeah. first five minutes, I am blowing yeah, out yeah. my yeah. ass. It's the same thing. And then you get yeah. into it and you're ready. Yeah, well, there's only a, like Ken said, going up the levels, you don't really change much. Like, there's mm. only a certain amount you, you can can't do, do on much, the side. No. Yeah. A few sprints, a, like, a few stretches, high needs. When you come on, you're still not going to be as prepared as you want to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've had that exact same thing. Like, I've come on a, sometimes second half of a game. Um, like I said, usually from an injury, so I'll be blowing anyway. But I'm coming on like blowing within five ten, and I'm looking at the other centre mid or the striker, and I'm thinking, <laughs> "This is you, mad, isn't it? You've got to be, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got to be like, I'm, you're I'm, asking for a sub again. Yeah, I'm thinking like, no, nah, he's poker, <laughs> he's got a poke face. On yeah, like yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it is mad. It's a mad experience being on the bench. That's quality, right? We're gonna go on some questions now, which are slightly different. Maybe not about like your personal experience. Mm. First of all, are you <laughs> are you giving the lino, the fourth official, the ref, abuse. So if a dodgy tackle has gone on right in front of you, right, are you up like I am at the TV? <laughs> ref, you're a wanker. Yeah, I'm, I've, yeah, some players do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So not everyone, okay. but some players are just as like, literally like, obviously the gaffer will be doing it. But yeah, some yeah, players yeah. are straight up as well, like giving it back yeah. and forth. Because I love it, if, if it really kicks off, uh, was it there? Was it the World Cup, Argentina, Netherlands, when the whole bench oh, got yeah, up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The South the Americans are the worst for that stuff, though. Like you see, you see the South Americans, and they like any little dive, any little push, foul. They're all up screaming. Like, really? Yeah, they're all like big, yeah. big theatrics. I um, the, from me, I've never. The players might give like the odd word or something. You know, you you mainly get uh, mainly get from the players on the pitch as well to the ref. But yeah. in terms of the fourth official, the manager, like Ken said, will have a go, um, and then he he might get a warning. And then they've got like 10 other staff there. <laughs> they can all just have a go and none of them can get sent off. It's like, yeah. it's, the full official is just, it's got to be gets, the worst. Yeah, because what <laughs> he it is from is both sides as well, <laughs> didn't he? He can't win. Yeah, like the manager probably comes with like, anger maybe shouting at him or whatever yeah, and then yeah. gets warned. But then you get mad comments from like the bench towards the fourth. Really? Like I've heard guys like laugh at the, the fourth's boots or like, <laughs> or, like so his, his, ha his haircut so or good. things like that. Like <laughs> like they get trolled yeah. on and he can't send you off for that. He just sat and he doesn't even know who said it. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's probably one of the worst jobs in football. Talking about his trim. That is yeah, yeah, one yeah, of the worst yeah. I've heard all them kind of insults thrown at a fourth. That is cool. From, from players on the bench. Is there, is there, Cards? Are you is a referee's card in subs, or is that yeah you can, can you can, can card but usually it's because you've run on the pitch or like it, right. it'd be stuff like that. You wouldn't get carded for that's saying it's managers. gym shit. Like yeah. no, no, yeah. that's more managers. Yeah. If the managers keep going out yeah, for a yeah. decision, but you can definitely like get carded if you've overstepped. Have you seen the it happen? Line. Yeah, I've seen players get carded. Yes, oh, no, but not a sub. No, no, right. I've seen it for. Um, Fight a f fight on the pitch and the subs like kind of got, got on and like yeah. got involved. Um, <laughs> back carded. boys, isn't uh, it? Yeah, 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 he's back to his boys, <laughs> yeah. but like he's been carded. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you're, 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 not, you're not allowed to be on the pitch if you're a sub. Like that's not. Yeah. And the same way players aren't allowed to come Seriously. off, so you can be booked for that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> does, does the abuse go to the other team, or is there is there you know yeah, like yeah. prim players? Mm. A lot of them are mates. Yeah. Right, because of international yeah. duty, whatever they play for the same club. Are they? Are they chatting to each other? During the game? Yeah. Uh, during the game, yeah. No, not during the game. No. I'll tell you when they do chat, if I, if I was on the bench and warming up and the other team were warming up, yeah, yeah you'd have a little like, just yeah. like, how are you? If you knew someone from yeah, there, yeah. Like, how are you? Oh, so it's calm? Yeah, it's pretty calm. You don't want to have to go too long, maybe like 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> um, but on the pitch for me, so if I'm talking to anyone, it will be like, oh, that's not my team. It will be like trying to get in their head or like just little one-liners that they might 
Do you know? Because surely North London Derby, James Madison, Bukai Saka, they're mates. No, but they're surely not. Surely they're uh, not going, all right, pal. No, that's the, that's the, I think that's a, a false narrative. They don't, it's so competitive. They're not going to go, they're not going to have a chat during They'll the match. They'll say hello. Yeah. Oh, during the game, they're no, not saying anything. No yeah. way. Before the game, they would. What about they're both warming up? Is that a nice chat or are they, is it because, are they both in North so London this, Derby this heads? This is, this is a, like, I think at that level, you can't. Because yeah, I remember terrorists. last season, one of my teammates was warming up on the touchline and was talking to one of his ex-teammates who was now yeah, playing yeah. against us, also warming up on the touchline. I think they were stood there probably talking for five, 10 minutes. And after he just got absolutely abused on, on social media. By really? our fans, because this was like our rivals. Like this was a- Wow, yeah, yeah. This was a, um, like the fans hated each other. Yeah. But obviously he's just sat there talking to his mate <laughs> yeah, on yeah, the yeah. side. I thought it was harsh because we, like he's seen him as a someone he's he, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah yeah but to like now you can imagine an <laughs> arsenal player doing that with a tottenham player this is national league level like like abuse imagine you're you're caught on all cameras you're on like every imagine social media after that. like you, oh you my yeah boy, like yeah. it wouldn't he doesn't like the talking in the no, tunnel at all. Like exactly, let yeah. alone I don't two think players you stood stood yeah. posted on the bench talking so i don't think you should and it definitely wouldn't happen in the Prem because yeah. it's just, they, you they just get, they, they know you're going to get slated for it. So why would you do it? There's a reason why they just so talk like this as well with their yeah. hand over yeah, the yeah. So, right, right. So let's do this scenario. You're playing for Palace. Yeah. Right. You're playing against West Ham. Yeah. London, Derby. Mm. Your mate is warming up. Yeah. You go warm up as well. Aaron. Yeah. There we go. Are you, if he says like, hello mate, how are you? Are you going like, no, let's not do this. We're warming so, up on the side. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll have a, no, I think, I think that's all right to have like a brief, 10 20 com yeah. like 20 second yeah. conversation yeah. Of like how are you yeah congrats on the move you like, wouldn't go stuff any like that. Than that though. i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't go like if he keeps talking to you he's like uh, anyway how's, how's how's the weekend are you usually I'd, like yeah all right cheers mate i'd probably i probably would have a chat with him but i'd <laughs> i'd make sure i'm doing something and then yeah, i'd go off yeah, and do yeah, my yeah, job or yeah, something. i'd yeah. make sure i'm stretching as long as you're not you stood like there stretching. talking yeah. like if yeah. you're literally like kind of up and down like kind of then yeah. or like stretching or something or covering your mouth or whatever, yeah. then then it's not if that obvious. Laughing, if you joking, literally it's... stood there, I wouldn't do it more than twenty seconds. <clears throat> yeah, if yeah. you literally stood there talking for longer than thirty seconds, especially if you start, anyone starts laughing. You think then, fans are getting on yeah. you as well? Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Imagine, especially the team that's losing, anyways. Yeah, some of the wrong. fans will be like, just I'll there. be blocking their view. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah that is very true. So yeah. they see the thing with Nicholas <laughs> yeah. Jackson the other day. No, <laughs> saw it on TikTok. He was he was he was stood there stretching like just watching and the Chelsea fans was like Nicholas you're, you're blocking the way get, get out of the way so yeah that's another thing you don't realise you're actually blocking someone's view the, cool, la the last thing fans want is a sub blocking their view <laughs> you know yeah, like, yeah very true they're, they're watching a sub cover them up instead of the actual match it's, yeah. they're not going to be happy and they're definitely obviously going to abuse you and because you're closer to the to the pitch let's talk about on the bench mm. especially in prem, prem grounds I don't know what it's like with you if the fans are behind you the royal fans because yeah. they can be two meters behind you yeah yeah I've been are they giving it to yeah. you all game are you giving it back to them what's going on in that dynamic at, at palace to be fair i mean the the front row is sort of like staff and yeah. it's all seats at palace then you go into the back row it's not actually seats it's pretty much just like a, a padded box and mm -hmm. then and then you've got a box on top of you like so you're not actually the fans wouldn't be able to okay. hurl abuse at you so you basically mm -hmm. you're in the clear right uh, but it's not very comfy i'm not gonna lie <laughs> no. no if you're on the bench at palace it's not very comfy but palace needs to sort it out don't they? i know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but um, no, yeah, I suppose you can. I mean, I was at Chelsea City the other uh, the other week, and they're completely open, no roof, and there's that's what I mean. It's probably me to you from the fans to their back bench. Mm. That must be rank. That's what I mean. Wow. Yeah, yeah. they're definitely going to be getting abuse, and, and that's where the you know the experience you just got you got to understand that's part of the territory, and you just got surely block that stuff out. Bit, surely, little little, little one yeah. nil or something. Little. Do you see? Do you see Madison? Uh, he uh, this is off the bench, but like he um he was going to take a corner, and they were hurling abuse at him, and yeah, put the ball down, that. and then just before he took the corner, he moved it off. Just to <laughs> just doing yeah. that. That's cool, like but, um, yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. You've got to have a bit of fun with them, and they yeah. the fans like that. Yeah, there. If I'm, if I'm, I wouldn't never abuse a player. If mm. I was, I think that's embarrassing. You yeah, grown men mm. or women. Um, but I think it it can be quite funny, as long as it's like oh, it band, like light hearted Depends stuff. Depends what yeah. kind of what you're actually saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of stuff that can just be like, just funny. Like I've had someone say, "Did your mum do your hair?" <laughs> like that's just like, I just that's turn quite, around yeah, and yeah, laugh. Yeah, like that's, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, like you're not going to take offence to that. Yeah. Um, but obviously you hear a lot worse of you being shouted at football grounds. So yeah. It's difficult because yeah, you're story. like you're not like. I don't know. I think players are in a 
again come back to what kind of environment would you be in where you just get abused at work like it's like yeah, you're true. just trying to do your job and yeah, someone's yeah. shouting abuse and you're meant to say nothing back like, we go back different. to the salesman it's like oh you you, you can't sell nothing sell yeah, nothing. yeah. Imagine, <laughs> like, it's just mad like While you're yeah. on the phone yeah, <laughs> yeah. that is quality yeah, they, they always take i know it's not to do with a bench but saka was taking a corner against mm. tottenham and they were singing you let your country down yeah, from they, the we penalty scored, from it, yeah. scored it came back and just stood on the that's the best, yeah. that's the best that. way to do anything yeah, yeah surely yeah, that is the best, best way to shut yeah um we've talked about coming on a lot coming off yeah mm. something springs to mind kepa yeah. oh yeah oh, was it jose mm. Mourinho and kepa mm. no uh, that was oh, that was uh, yeah. sorry 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 yeah, yeah. sorry Sorry's bringing him off yeah. for a penalty shootout. Mm. Obviously, the other keeper was meant to better penalties. He was injured, wasn't he? Kepa said, I think that was the thing. No. Yeah. Kepa said, I'm not coming off. And they had a full on argument across yeah. the pitch. He, they thought he was injured. And then so I think they off. thought he was injured. Right. Okay. So they wanted to take him off because they thought he was injured and he's telling them he's fine. I think it was but a bad misunderstanding. But then, he, but then the he, manager he, carried on saying to come off. Like, yeah. Yes, yes. And then he carried on saying. Because that went fine. on for five, ten minutes. Didn't yes. It? I think that was a mad misunderstanding. I think he was just trying to tell the gaffer, I'm not injured. Like, right. Okay. But, but he got to get, a point where the managers actually got the board up and the, the, the come keeper's off. there, like, come yeah. off. And he's still saying, I'm fine. Like, what happens just, in that scenario? What, what, you've what got, happens? That's a rare I mean, scenario. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rare. But as a player, you've got to come off. You've got to come yeah. off. And he weren't... I don't think he was the captain at that time or ever has been. The no. captain needs to get him off as well. The players on the pitch and you say, listen, get off his bad look for the That's club. when you said then, ego's but this is, this is the difficulty. It's like... Could, they could have escalated that situation even more. Can you imagine if like the captains come to him and said, and he's he's got still come gone, off and he's still like, coming one. off. Then that, all of a sudden it's like, now the but captain's the, thinking, I, yeah. I'm not trying to lose this. I've got to, do I drag him off the, yeah, the like, it could have just been, I don't know. He's got to come off. He's got, yeah. like, he's got, he's, he's um, old enough to know that in that situation, mm. he needed to come off. It was a mad misunderstanding and they, they saw it out, but no one wants to come off to, to get to your point. That's of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, and that's just you and the man manager will be done from that. Like, not done, but like, you'll that's be in bad, bad books. Really? Yeah, of course. Like, that's hard to repair that, isn't it? Because that, that was a public spat, wasn't it? He's, made the, the he's basically yeah. made the manager's power look like yeah. nothing. Like, I think the only respect. reason he got away with that is because the injury thing, and he's probably tried to twist it to the manager after because he did get yeah. away like they, they eventually he, sorted it. I think they won. Yeah. He carried on. Yeah, but I mean like in I'm the weeks, saying, weeks going after that, did he play? He eventually got back yeah. in the team. So, and I've, I'm assuming the only reason was simply, <laughs> yeah, after. Yeah. The only reason would have been, he would have said, look, I thought, I thought you thought I was injured and I was trying to tell you I wasn't injured. Yeah. And like... It just went on too long. Like, yes. Yeah. But otherwise, like, let's say you just refuse to come off. You ain't playing ever yeah. again. That is a, that is a, f like a proper isolated incident. Like, that yeah. Yeah. rarely happens. Yeah. But we do see it a lot where players come off and they're oh, fuming, yeah, yeah, yeah. kicking a bottle, not high-fiving the team, mm. ignoring the manager. Does that happen a lot? Yeah, that happens. It can happen every week. Like, yeah. Really? Like, like, to some degree. Like, it won't always be as bad as kicking the ball and smashing mm -hmm. things, but players are always going to come off. If like if they get dragged off, most players will be annoyed that they're coming off and they're going to show that, whether it's with what they're saying to the manager, what they're saying to the people on the bench, their body languages, they come off. But again, it's, you've got to be professional, yeah. and professional about it. And listen, I also understand that sometimes the emotions, you want to do your best, you want to win, that can take over. Um, and it just you, you can't control your emotions when you come off. Yeah. Like, so I, I I actually don't mind seeing it from most situations, but like for for example the Trent one, I don't really the, the one this weekend that's just gone. Like he was angry that he come off. Yeah. I'm thinking you're two 0 up. You've the game ten minutes left. You've got an important game next week. Like what you've done your job. You don't. There's no worries. Yeah. There's no reason for you to be angry there. There's no there was no situation in what in, in why you should be upset. Is there any element of that that can be spun positively as well? Is the manager looking at that thinking? Ah, oh, he really wants to play, or is he thinking what? I think it depends how bad you've gone because every, every, managers know everyone wants to play. Yeah, like I don't think showing them how angry you are makes them think you want to play any more than they expect you to want to play in the first place. Mm. Um, Maybe when you're younger, uh, like coming through the ranks, just to show, just to, they want to, they want someone with a bit of fight in the academies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want someone with a bit of fight, a bit of something about. Them. Yes, because that's going to determine who will actually make it. Yeah, so that's that that could be a good sign that's that really someone's yeah. But in the first team now, it's like you're all professionals, you're all there, yeah. and it's three points here we're, we're we're after, and the manager's you know the one with the decision to make. Again, it depends on the manager. Some managers will absolutely hate it because they're trying to make big decisions, and you're making it harder. For yeah, them. that like is some true. Some managers will take it as like disrespectful. Others will see it as, yeah, okay, he wants to play. Mm -hmm. um, and like Lewis said, I think as a player, you do understand because emotions do boil over sometimes, and it's literally just like 
a 30 second spat where he's just probably lost his yeah, head and, yeah. and he's it, it, like it shouldn't carry on over that but it comes back to being professional like you've got obviously the emotions boiling through you but like you have to i think it's disrespectful to your teammates more than anything it's disrespectful to the person coming on for you mm -hmm. and it's disrespectful to the people who are still on the pitch because are you saying that someone else should have come off ahead of you that's a really or are you saying, or are you saying people don't think they don't think about that stuff do they like they're not going to think oh i'm being disrespectful here like they're in no, the, at the moment no okay yeah. the person doing it is not thinking oh, yeah, that yeah. but like the others have, can can think that i've been in situation i've been in the change room where um someone's come off we, we've needed a goal someone's come off and at the end of the game in the change room he's had a massive spat about how he shouldn't be coming off like wow. we need a goal i should be on the pitch and the rest of us have gone to him and said, what are you trying to say? Are yeah. you saying you're yeah. the only one wow. that nah, So, so that, that was like, that, that, that didn't even become a row between hit the manager and him. That became a row between the players and him yeah. because it's like, who do you think you are? Like, there's, there's other, like, you're not the only person that yeah. can get us a late winner or get us back into this game. So you've got to be careful as a player. Like, he didn't mean it like that. And obviously everything got squashed. He didn't mean it as like a, no, I'm better than these, but it's like, you've got to be careful how that yeah. can be interpreted. No, definitely. Definitely. That's really interesting. Before I get on to my final question, yes. Anything else? Any stories or anything you can think of from the bench? No, that what, what just come to mind when we were talking about managers getting angry. <clears throat> yeah. One thing I know managers personally hate. We touched on it a little bit, but we said like players on the bench just aren't really ready to go on, are yeah, they? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, like sometimes they'll have their tracksuit bombs on. They'll have two, three jackets on if it's in the winter. Mm. They won't have their shin pads on. You seem a bit like. Ooh. Sometimes they're sometimes I've known players to leave their tops in the changing room. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. Yeah, no. and they've been asked to come on, and like there's nothing worse from as the manager to turn around. You want someone to come on, and it's going to take him five, ten to come on. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. The, I never get it because ma everyone knows managers absolutely hate that. Yeah. So like, if, if I'm ever on the bench, one thing I do is bring my shirt out. As soon as like I get out, I put my shin pads on and like get boots and that's sorted. So like anytime the manager says, off you go, mm. it's literally just take off my jacket and warm up top, put on my mat shirt, yeah. on I go. But some players will literally like not have the shin yeah. pads on, not have like under wrap, ready to wrap their yeah. shin pads really? on. Like, you, like they all like, shirts in the change is probably the most criminal. I've seen I've seen that yeah. where the change room's on the other side of the pitch of, of the dugout. Yeah. That's just mad like, players do it and it's, it's they just don't think they're not thinking yeah, yeah. because no everyone knows like the gaffer hates it and rightly so like the gaffer's now. like stressed or whatever dealing mm -hmm. with the game thinking of loads of things and for whatever reason he's decided I need to get this guy on mm -hmm. like he doesn't want it to take longer than two minutes he's got to get, red, get yeah. dressed for work that means he, yeah it's like he needs it now and the last thing he needs is you not to have your kit out ready to go like, yeah yeah, yeah that's 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 what, that leads me on to this this is a random question in winter, yeah. Why are you not just wearing your top under your jacket? Yeah, that's a great question. But I'll tell you what, it, I think it's. I get it in summer because you have to change colour. Well, for uh, Palace, you have, well, you have a warm up top, and then you like, and you wear your warm up top and your jumper, mm. and they just keep that on. But that's and, everywhere, yeah. Yeah, right. and everywhere. Yeah, and keep that on, and you have a jacket, and then you just take your match top out with you. Okay. Um, and then yeah, that's that's why you don't really wear the match top. I don't really know why you don't. Maybe you, you don't want to get it. I think you sweat. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I think yeah. you just warm up, don't you? Like if, yeah. if you go out with everyone else before the game to warm up. You're probably in your warm up top jumper. Now you've come in before the game to get a jacket, yeah. and you just sat there. You haven't at one point taken off your warm up stuff, have you? Warm up yeah. stuff, mm. uh, stuff. So like. Yeah, it's probably just that. Like, you could, in theory, just. Like, I know there are players that do it. Yeah. Just get their match shirt on straight away under everything else. But it's like you said, maybe you don't want to get sweaty. Maybe. To be fair, if there was a lot of kit, I'd be wearing it all. Yeah. Like a proper club, man. Yeah. I mean, most players come in and change their tops halfway, uh, half time as well. Do they? Yeah. A lot of players do that. That seems impressive. excessive, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to pay for your tops, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, actually, you do have to pay for your top, so yeah, you went viral for that, didn't you? Do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I can explain it a bit, but you do. So you get three tops a season. Yeah. As a so let's say I don't know. Let's say who's a Eze. He'll have he'll get three match uh, match day tops a season. Three. Three, yeah. Um, that will obviously get like washed, and he'll just go through. But you know, after if you're a player like Eze, you'll get people after after you your shirts. So it's up to him if he wants to give them away. Um, but once he's lost his three, he will have to pay for everyone after that. No way. Um, fifty, like I think it's like fifty quid. For, it'll be the same price as like. Is this shop. at every Prem club, or do you no, think this is a Palace? No, 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 this is every. I'm yeah. almost certain mm. it's at every club. Yeah. And your th three is a 
Yeah, it's, well, pa at Palace is three. It might be two or four. You know what I mean? But it's all yeah. it's in and So they actually that. do just get washed and worn yeah. again. Yeah, and uh, wow. like, I was speaking to the Palace kit man about this, and uh, and he was saying like Zaha every single game would give his kit away, uh, his top away. Yeah. So although he's he's financially fine, <laughs> I think he's alright. Yeah. But he's still <laughs> like he's still having to pay a bit in like not relative terms. Yeah. For, um, for his tops, it that comes out of his mad. pocket. Like, yeah. I did a, I did a Arsenal tour when I was younger at the stadium. And I met Vic Ackers, the old kit man. Oh, yeah. And uh, he gave me Van Persie's shirt. Yeah. Bad choice of shirt yeah. to get on yeah. as an Arsenal fan. Is he then paying for that? It depends if that was a match warm one. Um, <laughs> yeah. I can't even remember. Yeah. It could have just been one he got for it. Like he, he got from, or like the club that's not technically his yeah, one, yeah, his, yeah. one of his three matches. Um, wow. But quite possibly, yeah. What well, was this know. during the season? Yeah. And Van Persie was still there. Yeah, yeah. Could yeah, if it was match worn, then that's yeah. coming out of his pocket. It but is, but mate. Yeah, yeah. Would he I mean, put that actually, to be fair, to be fair, that probably wouldn't. If the kit man done it himself, yeah, he, he could probably just replace it yeah. himself. And, and when I say oh. come out of his pocket, he's not t he's not going to like, pay for it. Yeah, really. like Zaha's just, not just turning up on a Monday with a fifty quid. It will just, just get taken off his wages, yeah. Yeah. Be in his which he will not know his yeah. ads yeah. Just like fifty quid. Cool. They just won't look at. They don't look at it. Yeah, of course. Well, that is a great tangent. Last question. I'm going to read this off because this is a big one. Yeah. In a cup final, would you rather play the whole game and play well? but no goals or assists. Yeah. Your team wins still. Mm -hmm. Or you come on in the last five minutes, you only get five minutes, you score the winner. What are you doing? What are you choosing? I mean, that's a no brainer really, no? Like you take the five minutes. Would you? Yeah, absolutely. Really? I'd absolutely. take the five minutes and the goal in any situation, I think. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's random league game, random cup game, cup final, because. Even if, even if, the, not, if the 85 minutes is like, you played an eight out of ten. Yeah, really. Yeah, because like that's, you said that's earlier, good. that's all well and good. No one's like, remembering that. Skirts, yeah, 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 exactly. It's literally that. Final. It's, it's, like, it's yeah. like I don't know, like Origi in the Champions League final for for like for Liverpool. Like it's just what gets remembered is the goal. And like twenty years down the line, the goal will be replayed forever. Yeah. No one's remembering the starting lineup or like who <laughs> I can tell who you played well. Yeah. Yeah. How do exactly. you know who played yeah. well? Like no one remembers that. Like goals and yeah, it's it's everything, isn't it? So I think. I don't know anyone who would pick Take you up. Yeah, yeah. That is very, very interesting. Boys, that's been the subs bench. That has been Insights episode two. Thank you for tuning in. Do not forget to hit us up on socials and tell us what you want to hear about the footballing world from these two ballers. Next week, we're going to hit the team bus because yes. I hear that can get a bit wild sometimes. It can, yeah. <laughs> after a win, it can go a bit crazy. And after a loss, it can be a bit of a... You know, not a nice place, really. Amazing. Can't wait to hear it. So let us know what you want to find out about that. Thank you very much. See you later from me, Noah, Lewis, and Ken. And most importantly, Ball Talk. See you later.